South Korea launched its second Doson An Chang-ho class submarine KSS-3 program. The ROX An Mu SS085 submarine was built by Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering DSME for the Republic of Korea South Korea Navy. Meanwhile, the first submarine in its class, ROX Doson An Chang-ho, continues the sea trial. ROX An Mu is expected to be inaugurated in 2022. With the KSS-3 program, South Korea has entered into elite clubs from several countries that are able to independently design and build submarines, especially large ones more than 3,000 tons. For the record, DSME received a contract from the South Korean Ministry of Defense worth $1.56 billion to build two large conventional diesel-electric SSK submarines, KSS-3 Batch 1 on December 26, 2012. Then, on November 30, 2016, Hyundai Heavy Industries received a contract to build another ship from the first batch. Delivery of the three ships is scheduled for the end of 2023. In total, the plan is to have nine KSS-3 submarines for the South Korean Navy fleet by 2029, including three each from the second and third series. Batch I consists of the first two submarines to be built by DSME and the third submarine to be built by HHI. Batch II will consist of three submarines with some design changes. The submarines will be equipped with more advanced South Korean technology. In May 2016, DAPA selected DSME for the KSS-3 Batch 2 design in first hull construction. Batch 3 will consist of the next three submarines with more advanced technology. However, the KSS-3 submarine development program had experienced repeated delays due to technical and financial reasons, which was to be expected for this large program. The basic design for the rather large SSK-type submarines, 3,358-ton standard surface, up to 3,800 dives, for Batch 1, was started in 2004 jointly by Hyundai Heavy Industries and the company DSME. Local firms Lignex 1, Hanwha and STX Engine are also involved in the project, as well as British firms BMT and Babcock providing technical assistance. The KSS-3 Batch 1 submarine has a length of 83.5 meters, a width of 9.6 meters, and a draft of 7.7 meters. The maximum dive speed is 20 knots, and the range at economical speed is 10,000 nautical miles. The crew consisted of 50 sailors. The KSS-3 Batch 1 submarine is equipped with 8 533mm torpedo tubes and 6 XVLS vertical launch system tubes. The VLS will accommodate the Qian Ryong cruise missile with a range of 1,500 km developed by Lignex-1 while the launcher will be provided by Doosan. It was previously announced in the program that the Spanish company Indra was selected to provide the Pegaso Electronic Defense System ESM, and Britain's Babcock would design and manufacture the weapon handling system for the Batchai submarine. The French company Safran supplies the optronic masts for the class submarines and the ECA group supplies the steering consoles. Meanwhile, other South Korean content includes Flank Array Sonar, supplied by Lignex-1, and Combat Management System, supplied by Hanwha. Construction of the first submarine in its class SS-083, Doson and Chang-ho began with the first steel-cutting ceremony held at the DSME shipyard in Okpo on 27 November 2014. The naming ceremony took place there on 17 the May 2016. The submarine was named in honor of one of the leaders of the Korean nationalist movement in the early 20th century. The launch took place on September 14, 2018. The keel laying of the second submarine SS-085, on Mu, took place at the DSME shipyard on July 1, 2016. Hyundai Heavy Industries in Ulsan began construction of the third and final ship of the first batch, SS-086, Yi Dongyun, on June 30, 2017. In March 2019, the construction of the KSS-3 Batch 2 project for the South Korean Navy was approved. 
Compared to the first batch, the KSS-3 Batch 2 submarines are estimated to have a longer hull displacement increased from 3,000 tons to 4,000 tons, 10x VLS tubes increase from 6x, more use of South Korean-made systems and use of batteries. Lithium-ion and high-temperature superconductor HTS motor technology for an integrated fully electric propulsion system. Dosan An Changho class submarines are the final phase of the Korean attack submarine program, a three phased program to build 27 attack submarines for the Republic of Korea Navy between 1994 and 2029. The lead vessel Dosan An Changho was launched in 2018. It began sea trials in 2019 and will be ready for service by 2020. This new class will have a submarine version of the Korean vertical launching system which will be able to carry up to 10 indigenous Chonryong land attack cruise missiles and Hyunmu submarine launched ballistic missiles, becoming the first submarine in the South Korean Navy to have this kind of capability. It will also have many other improvements compared to its predecessors built with a greater degree of South Korean technology, especially in the later batches, which will include Samsung SDI lithium-ion batteries. Measured to weigh over 3,800 tons submerged during sea trials, they are the largest conventional submarines ever built by South Korea. The Batch 2 vessels will increase their displacement by approximately 450 tons, 4,250 tons submerged, according to the Defense Acquisition Program Administration. On April 25, 2016 there was a congressional hearing session held immediately after North Korea's SLBM launch, which raised some important questions about the ROC Navy's submarine capabilities to counter this threat. In response to questions whether ROC Navy was currently developing capabilities to counter SLBM threat, the ministry confirmed that KSS-3 Batch 2 will undergo redesign process before construction, lasting until December 30, 2018, to accommodate some important capability upgrades. These upgrades will give the Batch 2 submarines better capabilities at both attacking strategic land-based facilities and performing anti-submarine warfare. According to the recent DAPA statement, the Next Generation Submarine Project team held a System Functional Review meeting on KSS-3 Batch 2 submarine in late June 2017. Through this meeting, the project team was able to confirm the design requirements for the Batch 2 submarine under development are well reflected in the design. As a result, following the Batch I, the Batch 2 program has been promoted and the design has begun to materialize. 